So in this video, we'll introduce the Kronecker Delta. And this thing is something that uh, is either zero or one, depending on the value of the indices. So it equals my wonderful bracket. Um, it equals one when i and j are equal to each other. And it's zero any other time when i and j are not equal to each other. Um, whoops, i does not equal j. All right, so let's just look at a quick example of this. This won't be a terribly compelling example, but it should uh, hopefully help you see how it works. So in a previous video, uh, we, we saw that we could write a dot product uh, using tensor notation, um, something like value a, um, if we have two vectors b and c, a is their dot product. Uh, if a equals the sum, uh, the sum over i of b i uh, times c i, right? Uh, so so for every for every index uh, in the in the vectors, we multiply uh, the corresponding values, and then we add them all together, and that's the dot product. Um, and actually, just another note, we actually don't need to write this, um, the, the summation symbol, because uh, it, there's this convention uh, with tensors called the, I think it's called Einstein notation, where if one, indice, or if one index appears more than one time on any side, uh, it's, it's implied that you're summing over all of those values. Anyway. So another way we could write this, we could also write a equals, um, we could write the sum over i and j. And again, we wouldn't need to write this uh, because the, the convention will imply that we're adding these. Uh, but just to, just to be clear, the sum over i and j of b, i, c, j, uh, and then we could multiply it by this Kronecker delta here, ij. And like I said, this isn't a terribly compelling example because um, we, we found a simpler way to write the same thing, but just to show you how it works. Um, so let's find, let's find all of these. Let's just uh, step through the indices. So let's see, um, I, won't, I won't define what, what b and c are, um, but we'll see that. So, so first let's start with i and j both equal one. So um, the, first, the first term in the sum will be b1 times c1 uh, times Kronecker delta 1, 1. All right. And then the next one, let's do i equals one, j equals two. So b1 because i equals one, uh, c2 because j equals two, Kronecker delta one, two. Let's add the, the i equals two, j equals one term. Uh, so b2, c1, Kronecker delta, two, one. And one more term, we'll get b, uh, so, so i and j both equal two, b2, c2 um, times the Kronecker delta, two, two. And so this was just uh, dotting two uh, two-dimensional vectors. So again, not super exciting, but we can see that here because uh, because the Kronecker delta uh, is zero when the indices do not match. This this whole term is zero, and the same for this term. They don't match. This whole term goes to zero, and then this this one is one, and this one is two, or or is also one because the indices match. Um, so we would get B1C1 plus B2C2. So again, not super exciting this, this particular application of it. Um, but if you see this in a more, uh, in a more complicated uh, uh, context, hopefully that you see how it works and you can step through and, and write down what's going on.